what's poppin my dears it is mira it is shiva it is viva it is scorpion bread tarot i am back at it again back back at it again yes sir it is me i want to give a shout out to all my baby shout out to all my loves for coming through like sharing subscribing and clicking this video and showing all that love and support um i have no idea what time we're going to get into today we're going to use the tarot dice to see who we getting into today so let's go ahead everybody be like you know focus your energy so your sign can come up all right you ready one two three let's go who we doing today up uh, we start now with Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's do it. All right. So, um, you know, before we get into any energy, Scorpio, um, I want to apologize for my landscaper outside making all that noise. But bless him. Thank him for doing his job in the name of Jesus. So, um, you know, we're going to give uh, praise and acknowledgement to God before we get into any messages. So, uh, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Scorpio. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for carrying us through each and every day. Please give the sign of Scorpio the guidance that they need to receive um, for their nourishment and daily bread. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So today we're going to be getting into um, the messages that your inner self wants you to know right now. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get inner self guidance message okay so let's get into this Scorpio let's see what um, messages we got for the sign of Scorpio in its self-guided messages for September for the sign of Scorpio please give me in its self-guided messages for the sign of Scorpio okay you got compassion all right, and what we got under the deck? We got spread your wings. All right, all right now. I like that. That's a good message right there. So let's see what we got for a clarifier here. So I'm going to do like two um, cards from each deck. And later on, I will be getting some additional love energy. Let's see what we got for Scorpio. What inner guidance do we have for the sign of Scorpio? You got the Empress. And under the deck, you got the Two of Swords. All right. Just off the bat, I'm just like from this, from these cards right here, um, especially because the Two of Swords and the Empress kind of came out in a reverse. But it's like, I don't, I'm not really reading reversals, but you know, I have to like take the message when it hits me. Um, I feel like you need to show a little bit more compassion to yourself, Scorpio, in regards to like reinventing yourself. It may be certain things that you want to do to your look um certain things like it's it's i'm really getting image and it's like telling you to spread your wings whatever it is that you want to do like go ahead and take that risk go ahead and do it it's, it's you know like be like janet jackson be in control baby <laughs> you know what i'm saying like janet jackson is constantly reinventing herself and i feel like if you was to just like change one element about uh because you know we're very much so fixed energy so just something that you normally used to do uh a way that you normally used to look a way that you normally used to feel it would make you feel better and it would bring a lot of changes to you and you would see things like really starting to grow and blossom and manifest in your life in a way that you really want to so it's like you may just need to tweak something to change one little element um honestly i feel like you can even just redecorate a room in your house. It'll make it feel like more spacious. Like you'll have more air. It feel like you could breathe more. You know, it just like gives more like natural light or something that it would just change the flow of energy. You know what I'm saying? So in the compassion card, it says soften your heart with respect to the situation and all of the people involved, including yourself. So, hmm. 
especially with the um empress coming out in reverse it be it could be like um someone that you had to remove like your love your teaching your nurturing your giving hand it's like you realize that you don't want to do that anymore yeah it's 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 like i can't it's some situation that it's like I can't give to no more, but it's like, I still have compassion for this person and I still find peace. So again, remember I said it's like, uh, cause we're very much of a routine type of, you know, person. And it's like, once we love someone, we love hard and we're very much so like that queen mother nurturing energy, you know? So it could be something where it's like, you don't want to water that plant no more. You don't want to, um, pay attention to an individual. You don't want to um take care of something or be responsible for something because like I said the empress is responsible for every and all things so it's like sir whatever this is may be outside of your vantage point you know so it's like I don't see this anymore I don't do this anymore I don't have a title or, or you know what I'm saying like whatever that is is not covered under my title so you might have removed your protection or, or something but it's like you still wish someone the best and with this two of swords coming out in the reverse you know typically with it being in the upright as someone that's you know maybe a little frustrated going back and forth within their self about a decision and with it you know coming out in the reverse it's like you're not sitting on your thoughts anymore it's, especially with this spreading your wings it's like you're being vocal you are stepping out and what you you said what you mean and you mean what you say like permanently so it could have been like a permanent decision and it's like you're standing on it you know and it's like i've already stood up and i spoke my truth and i'm going on about my business like it's like i, I, I like it's not a repeated situation it's not a repeated conversation you've made a final determination or decision about something because it's like you need to spread your wings so things can finally blossom and grow so it's something in this empress energy and this two swords energy where it's like you had to make a decision that was like best for everybody in the circumstance and, and you, you you can't like second guess or change your mind on whatever it is it's like you already said what you said you meant what you said because Again, like I said, the Empress is responsible for every and all things. So it's like, even as a mother, I might have to spank your ass real quick just to teach you something. It's not that I want to hurt you, but it's to teach you a lesson. You don't understand? So again, it's like, I don't know, like, I'm really getting this very strong mother energy. Like, you might have removed, um, like I said, you're giving. So I don't know if it was like... I just heard like you like you're really saying no this time and you mean it you know what I'm saying like no and it, and it could be because it's like I can't continue to take care of you I can't continue to baby something or I can't continue you know to do something in this way because you're not going to learn and you're not going to grow or you're, you're going to feel like you're always you know under my protection you know and it's like, I, I no. And then, I'm also, it's like, I have enough to take care of. So, it's like, I, I, you know, I wish you the best. And I'm, and, while I'm hearing, like, it's like, you're having to explain something. Well, number one, I feel like you, you maybe did not explain, but it's like having, if you, could speak to this person to explain which i feel like you're not you know what i'm saying it's like you wishing whoever it is the best or whatever the situation is the best but it's like if i continue to nurture pay attention and, and, and take care of somebody or something that could have done it for their own self i'm neglecting my true responsibilities and and i can't and i made the decision to, to not make other people suffer because you know look again giving and receiving like it has to be balanced you know what i'm saying so mm -mm. 
what's under the deck creative project so I feel like you know Scorpio may be I just heard like on the receiving end of some very very strong positive energy and you may be getting like a creative spark back again so if it's like something that you used to do if you used to rap sing cook um, do embroidery like I said make 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 clothes um, visual arts some type of graphics design anything that has anything to do with the, you know poetry um setting up studio why am i seeing someone that is like very very good at like interior design or it's like staging houses for um open houses you know it's like setting up all of the furniture and all of that stuff or someone is like um what is it a, a stylist for an artist or something like you someone is very good at like professional staging hmm. so I feel like you might be giving to your arts at this time I just heard why we, I can't continue to water the plants of other people when I have so much to offer to myself I can't do that you know what I'm saying it's like that's why I was like I had to change what I was doing and you know what I'm saying focus on myself and like I have a whole different creative spark different energy a different way that I want to express myself at this time so it's like I can't because again like I said the two of swords is someone that's not moving that's not doing anything with their stuff. They're just sitting there thinking, trying to make a, <laughs> trying to figure something out. I don't have time to be sitting here thinking about this shit. Like I got, <laughs> like I got all of this energy in me, you know, the um, spread your wings says, don't hold back right now. Timing is perfect. And you're ready to soar. Like, yeah, it's like, I got, <laughs> I got all of this energy like bottled up in me. Like I don't have time to be focusing on you. Or whatever the hell that is. What is this? You got the tower. So like yeah. The tower like honestly. It's like um. I just heard natural chaos. <laughs> In the eight of coins. So. I feel okay. And what's this? And then you got the two of swords under the deck as well. So. There could have been something in regards to a creative project of yours where um, I, I just heard like it's like you've given you, you gave your you were giving your time away to something else like you didn't have a lot of energy to create or do it at that time because it was like you were focusing your energy on taking care of something else or someone else's needs like I said and you had to give compassion and you had to you know make the decision to say no so that you can spread your wings and focus on something else so there could have been like a natural disaster it was something that it might have been unfortunate for other people but I feel like it was destined for you because it gave you time to restructure and rebuild you know so again like I can't I didn't even pay attention on if the tower came out in the reverse or in the upright but again that's still Scorpio energy with the eight of coins so it could have been something again that was taking you away from your responsibility as the empress and could have been making you look bad like you weren't on point you know what I'm saying with the eight of uh, uh, pinnacles being in the reverse so it's like God tore this down it was like a natural disaster it was meant to happen and it was fortunate because sometimes it's like you don't even see certain things coming but it made room for you to really focus on what you really needed to focus like to get back to work you know what I'm saying so there could have been a friend a situation um a family member uh even, like I said, it's something that you were used to doing. Used to do, but it was like, I want to say like a waste of time or it really didn't benefit you. There you go. <laughs> so it's like 
God was like, yeah, it's enough of that shit. And like God just like wiped that shit clean. Wiped it clean. Like sometimes it's like the tower. People are scared of the tower. Scorpios are not scared of the tower. It's like I, I welcome it because if it's something that I didn't recognize was a true distraction. Because if you pay attention, it, it could even be someone that you used to talk to every day. Like a friend or something like that. But something happened. Like say y'all get into some argument about some dumb shit. And all of a sudden y'all not talking no more. And all of this time that y'all used to be sitting on the phone talking about nothing. Now you got all of this time to focus back on your business. Or spend more time on you. And then all of a sudden now your money going up. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's like, well thank God because... Me and this motherfucker wasn't talking and wasn't doing shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? It really was. It was a waste of my gift. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I really don't care about the fact that I don't talk to this person no more. Because I'm glad that it happened because I really didn't see it as a distraction at the time. But now that I see how my pockets is looking and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm about like I, it's something about. Like, you could be back popping. People could be back talking about you. Like, uh, people, like, you are giving excellent quality. Because the Eight of Pentacles is, like, a very skilled worker. Like, very dedicated, very focused. Like, you putting out very good product. So, whatever it is you're doing, you're doing a damn good job at it. And, again, that could be unexpected for you as well because... Again, like I said, the tower is something unexpected and it's a natural disaster and a blessing at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Again, it's like that Scorpio energy. We just come through like a goddamn tornado and we just like flatten the whole fucking surface. But, you know, you probably needed to get rid of that house anyway. Like that shit, like the, the, the piping was fucked up. The roof was leaking. Y'all just used to living in there because it was your family house. But if that tornado would have never came, you look... You got to, you and your family, y'all got to stay in a nice-ass hotel for a couple of months. You know what I'm saying? It might not have been your home, but you got to stay in a nice-ass fucking hotel. Not only that, you got a lot of money. Let's say y'all got $20,000 to go and replace and rebuy all your clothes. Uh, or, or, or and, You know, and you get another stipend for furniture and you get to buy a brand new house. From scratch. Like you had all old. Like you still had old wood paneling. Like you had like an old house still stuck in the 60s. Now you got brand new remodeled. Up to date. Modern. Beautiful home. You know. Like yeah. You are a survivor of a natural disaster. Respect. You know what I'm saying? Respect, but it's like you got a whole new footing of life attached to that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, it's not my old home that I grew up. I still got the memories and all of that stuff like that. But I'm so glad that it's like almost when you put your, your key into that door and you walk into your new home, it's like you break down crying because it's like, you can't even believe that this is you. Like, this is mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If God didn't move all that old shit out of the way, all that unnecessary shit out of the way, you would have never got to this. So it's something that was removed so that you can focus, so, so, so honestly that you can focus on you, your creative arts, your skills. And it says, the entire universe operates in cycles similar to inhalations and exhalation. When you only exhale, meaning give, or only inhale, meaning receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimum health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. So if it's something or someone that you were constantly pouring into, pouring into, pouring into, but on a receiving end, you really wasn't seeing them pouring into you like that. Well, you could have been pouring all that energy into yourself and into your natural talent and blessings. Baby, God, remove that shit. 
God remove that shit. Like, why are you, you don't got time to be trying to mother and teach and nurture and, and, and tell someone that they're beautiful and uplift and tell them that they can be creative and they can do what you're doing or whatever the fuck it was that you were pouring into these people. You ain't got to do that shit. You ain't that motherfucking mother. Look, look, give them compassion. Wish them the best. Listen, what it say? Soften your heart with respect to this situation and all of the people involved, including yourself. Listen, you ain't got to be mad at nobody. You ain't got to feel no way. Spread your wings and keep it moving. You understand? Don't hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So if it was something that you felt like needed to be letting go, oh, look, God going to help you let it go. Bye. He got to go. It got to go because it's like you got to get your, it's something that you've been sitting on. And it's something that you really freaking good at too, Scorpio. I mean, good at. You're going to be known for this. You're going to be able to build fortresses with this. You, you feel me? So whatever it is that God is telling you, don't then listen, you ain't this motherfucking mother. You was not that mother. Okay? Go tell them find somebody else to pacify you because it ain't about to be you no more, Scorpio. Whatever that is, God done helped you release it and it's gone. Okay, for good. Like, ain't, ain't no coming back to that. Ain't no coming back. That shit done. Okay? <laughs> but deep, but deep, that's all, folks. So anyway, Scorpio, this has been your reading. Thank you guys for tapping in. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. That is the best way to show free love and support to my page. I love you. I love you. I love you. Make sure that you put some comments down there. And let me know if this resonates. I'll talk to y'all next time. i see y'all in the love portion. I'm about to record that right now. Peace.